In a recent video, I demonstrated how the bend of an Allen wrench could be cut off with a hacksaw and inserted into a power drill to make Allen wrench projects easier and quicker. It was pointed out to me by one of my viewers that a torque bit could be used for the same purpose. So you may not need to cut off an Allen wrench. I found this one in my, in my toolbox. X-head bits are commercially available and are probably ideal, particularly if you do a lot of this kind of work. This is a three millimeter bit. And notice that it engages nicely. and also disengages nicely. Square bits can also be used, although it's not quite so ideal. Remember, these can also be used manually if you want to be more careful. The main thing is to control the torque. 